Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 17 big money bolos coming your way. Items that I sold on eBay for big money. One item sold for $245. My cost of goods was nine bucks at a garage sale. So stay tuned for that one for sure. I am going to tell you where I got these items, what I paid for them and what they sold for. These are my bigger money bolos. Um, I Items that I picked up at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, YouTube auctions, different places, Facebook marketplace, wherever I can source. I love to source. Um, so yeah, we are going to get started here with the first big money bolo. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite thing to sell? All right, let's get started here. All right, so the first item I sold is... Um, this is a vintage Dymo label maker, and I got this at a thrift, or I'm sorry, an estate sale for around a buck. Um, one thing that I do is I source really cheap, you guys, typically. Um, I keep my cost of goods down, but I will also sell bread and butter items where a lot of people really focus on the big money items. I do everything in my store. Um, if you want to see bread and butter bolo videos, items I sell for $35 or less, I have a ton of bread and butter bolo videos. So check those out. Um, all of that adds up. Um, okay, so estate sale. Got this at estate sale for a dollar. Took a best offer of 40. Sold really quick. The buyer was all in for $61.77. This is from that estate sale video that I did. Um, it's titled, mm, We Split Up at This Estate Sale. My husband and I went in. We went our separate ways and we came out and we're like, what'd you get? What'd you get? And I did um, a video where we unbox it together so we could see what each other got. Um, I list everything and I show you guys exactly how I listed everything and a whole bunch of stuff had already sold by the time I posted the video. So it's very educational also. So definitely go look for that video. Uh, the thumbnail says we split up and it's got me and my husband in the picture. So we didn't really split up. We just split up at the estate sale. I sent him the thumbnail and he's like, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. We did. We went in and we split up. Um, all right. So I picked this up at a garage sale and you guys, it smelled like smoke, unfortunately. Um, so I only got 105 for it. Uh, the buyer was all in for 131.40. I want to say I paid 10 or 15 bucks for this. I would have listed it for more if it didn't have the smoke odor. But to me, I felt like that was bringing the value down. I do have a video that I linked in the description that shows exactly how to um, how to find the hidden compartment and all of that stuff within the game. But the, there's a game inside of it and everything was sealed. But I just disclosed that it stunk like smoke. It was stinky. Uh, the inner part wasn't too bad. It was basically the outer case and the cardboard. But the game part, I, you know, I smelled it also and it seemed okay. The next item I sold is this vintage processed plastic stagecoach with horses. I got this at a garage sale for a buck. It sold for $38.50 and the buyer was all in for $50.85. Pretty cool bolo. The next item was just a super find. I got this at a garage sale for a buck. I just picked it up and I just thought that it was going to be a bolo. Um, it does have like uh, the seal is broken in a few areas, which is unfortunate. But I paid a dollar for this, you guys, and it sold for $87.50. The buyer was all in for $94.97. This is um, the Bible with illustrations by MJ Hummel. And if you guys are familiar with the Hummel uh, figurines, um, that's what this is. So the illustrations look like those figurines, which is really fantastic. Um, so definitely a bolo. The next item I sold is this Star Trek Barbie and Ken gift set. Um, I ended up selling this for $41.99. The buyer was all in for $55.96. I got this at a garage sale for four bucks. Um, I will tell you that a lot of these things are saturated on eBay. So it's a good idea to get these things on Poshmark and Mercari less competition, um, different eyes on your items. I use List Perfectly to cross post. I start my items on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. eBay is my number one. Poshmark and Mercari are just extra, but they are like bonus sales and they come in and it's awesome. If you wanna see the items that I'm selling on Poshmark and Mercari, I have separate videos for those platforms. I sell tons of hard goods on both platforms. Um, 
If you want to try list perfectly to cross post your items, there's a video down in the description that shows you how to do that. And if you like it and you think you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. Highly recommend it. I've been using it since 2019 and I love it. So um, definitely check out that video down below. The next item I sold is this Cabbage Patch Tiger's Eye outfit. This is for the bigger catch patch. I Cabbage Patch, I think they're called Soft something. I can't remember. Soft Sculpture maybe? But anyway, this one sold really quick. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I ended up selling it for $40. I think it went to, it was an international sale. I want to say Canada, but don't quote me on that. I got this in, in a, at an estate sale, and I actually have an unboxing video. Um, it's a bag of Cabbage Patch stuff. It's over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel if you want to check that out if you're into Cabbage Patch stuff, but it was a bunch of vintage stuff. So this item sold really quick and my cost of goods was probably around a dollar. The buyer was all in for $46.55 plus they'll have their international customs that they have to pay to global shipping. This came from a garage sale. I paid three bucks for it and it is Robert, uh, Enchanted Robert, Patrick Dempsey doll. I don't know. I just, it was new in the box. Anything that is new in the box, I pick it up if I can get it cheap. $3 for this at a garage sale, sold it for $40 best offer. The buyer was all in for $54.38. The next item is this amazing elf. Um, some people would think it's kind of creepy uh, when you turn the music box on, its head moves. It is kind of weird, but it's made in Japan and it's pretty big and it was a really cool garage sale find. I got this for $2. The buyer was all in for $70 best offer. And uh, all in $85.97, I'm sorry. And here's the video down here that shows you how it works. Again, that's over on my reseller testing Bolo products if you want to check it out. This is a Lego Bionicle incomplete set. I was able to identify which characters they were, but they were incomplete. So I just disclosed that. Got all of these for about three bucks. Sold it for $65 on best offer and $80.95 is what the buyer was all in for. This figure right here and then this dragon looking figure um, is a harder to find. Uh, I would consider it a bolo if it's complete. So if you can find that one, definitely, um, definitely list it high. These others were not as sought after. Um, I don't even know what a couple of them were, but uh, I knew that this would bring the value up. I could have probably sold the cape on that guy separately. The next item is this Mary Bright Fiber Optic Santa. Anything that is fiber optic, I buy it. Um, I love fiber optics. I got this at an estate sale for five bucks and I sold it for $80. The buyer was all in for $100.17. The next item is so cute. It's this little vintage dancing Santa wind up music box made in Hong Kong. It does uh, Santa's coming to town. Uh, I can't remember. No, this one's Hong Kong, but I do have a video down in the description that shows how it works. And I think I also did a video like on the fiber optic, same thing that shows how it works. Uh, I like to do that. I think it helps sell my items. This sold for $40, this little, uh, music box, best offer. And the buyer was all in for $49.67 and I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. I actually had somebody reach out to me on YouTube um, on this video and ask me if it was still available. So I it wouldn't surprise me if those videos lead people into my eBay store also and then they look for the items. The next item is this Opus Plush. It is a brand spanking new day Berkeley. Uh, it's, a, it's a plush, you guys, and that's what it says on it. I have no idea what it means. Um, it's ha, doesn't have a box. It's got the original tags. I ended up selling this for $40 on best offer. The buyer was all in for $49.95 and I got this at a thrift store for $3. The next item are these Pendleton skirts. I, if I remember correctly, I paid a dollar each for these at an estate sale and, um, they hung around for a while. They took a while to sell. I sold these for $53.99. The buyer was all in for $62.99. And I still have a black one left. Yes, that's me in this costume. Um, I got this at a garage sale. I cannot believe it did not sell quicker. It was amazing. 
Um, I don't know what my cost of goods was because I bought a whole bunch of stuff at the same sale, but this sold after Halloween. Somebody offered me 50 bucks for that and they were all in for $68. And again, that was after Halloween. This is a vintage sacred heart of Jesus and Virgin Mary statue. Um, I don't really like picking up things like this because they're heavy. They're hard to ship and they're just, they're awkward and hard to ship. You know, I don't like breakables. I don't like shipping them. I'd rather ship a toy, uh, you know, even if I don't make as much money, but I've been watching Be Carried Away and I watch Primetime Treasure Hunter and those two are constantly talking about religious items and how well they sell and how they're big money. And I saw this and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it just to see. And it sold pretty quickly, you guys. My cost of goods was $15 at a thrift store. I sold this for $100.80. And it's with tax and shipping, $195.99. They were all in. So definitely a bolo. The next item is this Tory Birch bracelet. I got this at an estate sale. Uh, my cost of goods, I think, was $3. And it ended up selling for $43.20. The buyer was all in for $51.60. And the grand finale. Um, I got these at a garage sale for $9. They sold for $245. The buyer was all in for $273.38. If you guys don't know how these look, go over to my channel and check it out. Again, it's reseller testing Bolo products. There is a link in the description. These guys are super cool. So they interact, um, the three of them. And I think there's five or six in the original set, but um, I only had three. And this one even had some damage on the book. So $245, definitely a bolo, you guys. So go check out that video. There's also interactive um, Hallmark items that do really good. Um, just search interactive plush and interactive um, Christmas and you will see some big money bolos that are just unreal. I have, um, I just showed it in um, a Mercari video that I did. Uh, it's a figure that is, um, it's Hallmark. It's a snowman that plays an instrument and they all interact. And I got it at for 50 cents at a garage sale and it sold for $95 free shipping on Mercari. So even if you don't sell on Mercari, which I highly recommend you do if you don't, because it's awesome, but um, go check out those Mercari hard goods videos because those items sell on eBay. Also, those just happen to sell quicker on Mercari, which is exactly why I cross post. Um, if you're not on Mercari and you want to join, there's a link down below. You can get like coupon when you sign up and then I, you get another coupon when you sell a hundred dollars and then I get a coupon to buy. So, um, it helps me, it helps you and it's down below. So check that out. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, again, the list perfectly info is down there. I have a Facebook group where I do little things where you can share a bolo and then I feature it in a video. So check that out. Um, I'm on Instagram, bolo buddies under or bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers um, over on Instagram. And I post bolos and stuff over there too. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up if they haven't already. Click on one of those. Check out another video. Um, if you're new here, thanks for being here. If you've been here a while, you're awesome. I appreciate you coming back. And thanks for watching.